She wasn't done, so. Oh my god, yeah. No, I needed more black because its head was too black. So. Word. <laughs> Progress, not perfection, right? <laughs> no, it's not right. Mark on acid. soul level so I was actually trying to think what that would be um, <laughs> you like pause and stare <laughs> <laughs> on a soul level um, I just don't know what that means to be a completely honest yeah I know that right now I focus a lot of my energy on being a mother of three <coughs> and on like staying sane on a soul level. I think that I'm an artist, a, I'm a creative person. Um, my art form is writing and I love it so much. I just don't get the opportunity to really focus on it. Um, I just love the creative arts so much. I love, I love going to concerts, but on a soul level, I just really don't know. I don't know who I am. To be determined, TBD. TBD. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna get you to draw. All right. I want you to pick colors that make you happy and that re remind your, you of you and tell everyone why you picked the specific colors that you pick. All right. What if I pick them just because I fucking like them? That works. <laughs> I'm down with that too. Ow, my hair. You know I straightened my hair just for you. Did you really? Yeah, my arms gotta work out. I haven't even brushed my hair in like a week. Really? Yeah, I had like a mat to get through. Well, right. looks amazing. Are you picked, this, did you pick them because you love them or do you have any reason? Is this brown? I feel like that's brown. I'm looking for black. Black, black yeah. is in the corner, I think. A lot of people have been mixing up the black with um, this really dark green. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Cool beans. Okay. So I picked these colors because they make me really happy. I love pink because I just feel. And I love these colors together because it reminds me of like Lisa Frank or something. And red and black are amazing. Yes. I'm a little bit into, I'm really into metal. And these colors make me think of my favorite band, which is Ice Nine Kills. And their, their latest album, which is all about horror movies, which are my favorite things. And that sounds awesome, actually. It is. It's amazing. Like their whole album is um, The Silver Scream. So it's a concept album. So like every single song is about a horror movie. So like American Nightmare is about Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, there's Stabbing in the Dark is about Halloween. Um, there's one about The Crow. There's one about Pennywise and It and Georgie. What? Yeah, it's my favorite. <laughs> I mean, I've got the I've got the red balloon and the Georgie's SS Georgie on me. Oh my I god! I really love I really love book movie and book. So. I need to read that book, to be honest. The book is Did so you see the new it? I did. I went by was myself the other day. <laughs> was it good? It was great. It was weird. It was kind of cheesy. I heard it was kind of... It, it was weird. I still liked it, but... Did they wrap it up well, though? You it know, was beautifully it was tied in okay. a bow, and I felt, like, closure. And it was nice. And I cried, and that's, that's all I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I needed. It was cathartic as hell. Sweet. I'm gonna ask you questions. All right. Cool. So, first question: What makes you the most upset? Being ignored, I would say. 
like not being heard, not having a voice. Okay. What makes you the happiest? Someone telling me I did a good job. <laughs> right? Like, I really like that. Mm. When someone says, like, that was really good. You did a good job. Yeah. Because I always, when I was growing up, I heard that I had a lot of potential mm. from everybody. Same. And it was like, that in my head meant... You're still not good enough. I'm not good enough. Yeah. And, you know, some people said that to me out loud. But... Um, yeah, I just want to be good enough. I just want to be, I just want to do a good job. Simple as that. Yeah. So for someone to tell me that I did a good job, then that makes me pleased. Okay. What are you most afraid of? I'm so, right now, I'm super afraid of my son Jack turning into me. I don't want him to experience anything bad. I don't want him to travel the same road, but he's he's just like me. And it scares me to death because I don't I don't want anyone to have to feel like that, especially my child. Right. Like right now, he's four years old, so it's obviously like super early, but he like loves to get dizzy because he likes to feel something different. Oh wow. And when he gets upset, he pinches his skin because it feels better than what he's feeling. Oh you know, god. It's it makes me cry. Yeah. That's the thing I'm the most afraid of right now. And people always say, like, it, he's just so young, he's so young. I'm like, that doesn't matter. Yeah, like, you, you feel how you feel and yeah, you see like, what you see. Exactly, and it's, it's scary. scary. Um, what do you think is the most misunderstood thing about you? Like, what do you think people usually get wrong about that you? That I don't get it, that I, because I am who I am, the fact that I have a house, I have two houses. I own two homes, I own a car, I'm insured that I have three kids, that I'm present and I'm a stay-at-home mom, that I don't know what hardship is, mm. and that I don't know what depression is, and I don't know what it's like to experience pain at a cellular level, because I feel like a lot of people see me and they think like, oh look, she, you know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't use my degree. I don't have a job. I, have, I just take care of children. And what was your degree in? Um, marketing. Oh, okay. Or PR. It yeah. Was mass communication. Same. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I think that people get that wrong a lot. I think mm -hmm. that they've got a lot more to me than is expected. Right. Yeah. Um, make a face that explains you. Like if you were a facial expression, what would it be? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> One of those. <laughs> yeah, my face is usually like, I have a resting, like, confused face. <laughs> I thought you were going to say bitch face. No, like, I'm resting, like a resting, confused. like, like, huh. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> what do you question most? I question God most. Okay, that's fair. I give all glory to God. Yeah. And I love God, but I also question the fuck out of him. Is he real? Is this real? Mm. Do I pray to emptiness? I totally forgot to ask you the first questions that I usually ask people yeah. so that'll carry us into that there are three categories there's love sex relationships society culture politics and spirituality and or religion so in your life which of those takes the front seat okay what were they love, love sex, sex relationships, relationships society culture politics and spirituality and or religion Probably which the I'm first one yeah sex isn't super like not, I think that love and relationships yeah. are my biggest thing for sure. And then after that, what's next? 
society, culture, politics, or spirituality and or religion? Spirituality and or religion. I don't get into politics. I don't. I'm just ignorant and I like, I just, um, yeah. Like, I can say that I don't know enough. Mm. Like, I know enough to know what I believe and I have my beliefs, but I don't know enough to get into a conversation about it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because I'm always learning. I pride myself on always being a student. And, um, you know, I try my best to remain open-minded. I just don't know enough. So politics is not my thing, but okay. culture and society for sure. Okay. So as far as spirituality and orally, did you grow up in church? I know you went to church and that's yeah, where you met your I mean, husband. I grew up going to church, but it was like an Episcopal church with a liturgy. And so I never like opened a Bible before. Yeah. Um, at all. I uh, really was super interested in like the, the whole Catholic imagery. Like I love the artwork and I loved, you know, the, um, the rituals and stuff, but it wasn't for me. Like I'm definitely, I, I just, I'm not, I don't believe that Catholicism was like Christianity. Um, but now, I mean, I am non-denominational. I go to a church that's out of the Bible, teaches out of the Bible. I believe in Jesus. Word. Like, I love Jesus. I do question the fuck out of him. Yeah. But I think that's kind of normal. Yeah. Do you have any weird habits? Sure. I mean, I'm a weird fucking person. <laughs> like, I am strange. Um, I'm addicted to Candy Crush. Is that a habit? Yeah, I think so. I used to play I that have a time. habit. Okay. Like, I can't stop playing it once I start. And I didn't even know it was still, because I remember it was like a craze. Like, everyone I didn't was even play it then. I recently, so now you're, yeah, I it's recently got into it, and it's like, at three in the morning, when all I want to do is go to bed, I do not even want to play the game. I'll say out loud, like, put the phone down. I can't stop. I can't stop until I have no lives left and I'm not paying money for it. Sometimes. Exactly. So you like wait. Yeah, I wait. See you in 24 good. hours. But if I'm good, if I like keep going and I keep eating the levels, I'm like, God, dude, fuck. <laughs> like, can this end? But I can't not do a good job. Like, if I on purpose fail the level, I'll know. Yeah. It's just like. Hard man, <laughs> it's hard being in my mind. Um, what is one of the hardest conversations you guys have? Um, I don't know. Probably talking with my parents when they would find me like overdosed, having to explain things. Yeah. Uh. Telling my husband about some of my history. Mm. Um, Would you say that your history is the hardest, the most challenging thing that you've gone through? For sure. Yeah. It's yeah. hard to own it, but I do because I know that other people need it. They need, they need to know that they're not alone. Because that was like the biggest thing. I always felt like I was so special and so alone <laughs> to know that I'm not. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing, thing yeah. and I want other people to feel that too. So while it's like the hardest thing in the world to be like, yeah, I'm fucking fuck up. At the same time, I'm like, but I'm not anymore. Yeah. And that's oh okay. Right. I'm not perfect, and that's okay. I'm not, you know, super fucking smart anymore. It's like my brain atrophied. Mm. But like, it's okay. Who cares? I'm fine. I'm fine. Like, I'm happy. And yeah. I think that I'm happy for the first time. I, for the first time in my life, like I'm telling you, like a week and a half ago, I like really loved myself. Oh my god. And I'm like 33, being able to say like I actually really like who I am. Yeah. And that was like an uncomfortable thing to say. I don't know why. Uh. But it was really good. It was a good thought. It was a good feeling. What don't you want to tell people but know you should share because it could help someone else other than what you've already shared? Like, is there anything else you can think of that you're... No, I'm, like, super fucking open. Yeah. I don't think... It seems that way, too. Like, I yeah. Think... I don't think that there's anything that I wouldn't share. Yeah. Like, I'm well past... Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you feel will restore connection in our generation? Talking. Literally. Like sharing. Being a 
vulnerable, being open. I feel like a lot of people like really want to be other people. Mm. I feel like a lot of people are wearing a costume. Yes. I feel like a lot of people are playing a role. They like things because they think that they should like things instead of the fact that they really do like things. Um, and I think that that's really sad. And I'm really proud that my, my 11 year old so far isn't doing that. Like I see a lot of his friends like talking about Ariana Grande and mm. all this stuff and he likes who he likes. He loves DMX. <laughs> like he really does. He <laughs> loves Meek Mill. That is so awesome. Yeah, he loves Meek Mill. He reads about him. He knows everything about Eminem. He listens to the music I listened to when I was a, like a middle schooler and we have this like crazy bond over it. But he also started listening to Ice Nine Kills and I'm like, you don't like metal. He's like, well, what if I do? And I'm like, get it. Like embrace what you like, you yeah. know? And like, I don't care. And he doesn't even care if his friends, you know, don't like that stuff. And I couldn't be more proud of him because <laughs> that's not how I was. I just wanted you to like me. Hell yeah. All right, two more questions. Okay. One, what is missing? From however life? you want to take that question, you can answer it however you. What is missing? Yeah. What's missing for me personally, I think, is like self time. Too much mm -hmm. time to myself, time for myself to do things that I want to do. I haven't been able to do that in a really long time, and I don't, I don't really see a future where that's gonna happen. Mm, until like your kids are in college or something. Yeah. It's yeah. hard. I mean, being a mom is hard. Being a present mom is harder. Word. And I pride myself on being present at every moment. I go to all of their events. I yes. pick them up from school. I am there. They know I'm there. They know they can count on me to be there. That wasn't always the case. You right. know, I tried my best. But like these days, it's so different. And like it's beautiful, but I don't have time for myself. Yeah. So um, that's missing. Okay. And last question, I give everyone the same scenario. All of the power goes out with the screens on the phones, the computers, the TVs are still on. It says PSA, public service announcement, and then it's your face. What are you gonna say to the world if you had the chance to say something to literally everyone? You're worth it. You are beautiful inside and out. Don't doubt yourself. We're capable of more than you know. You have an opportunity to change the world. What are you going to do? That's what I would say. Yeah. So that's the first thing that popped in my head. <laughs> then you do a little jig. <laughs> no, then I would go like this. Because I don't know what else to do. I get awkward. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, thanks for having me. I want you to show what you do. Okay. And sign it for sure. I actually love it. Hold on, let me zoom in. <laughs> Look at its crazy ass face. I like to a person face. That's good though. The color blending is bomb. Oh, thanks. I really like cats. <laughs> you didn't even talk about your cat once. I know. Surprise. I was going to draw Karen, but then I got sad. So I yeah, so you were like, no, so no. So I'm not drawing Karen. Karen yeah. was um, my favorite cat. And she was Louise. She Her was name so was Karen cute, though. Louise. <laughs> and she died. And it's okay. Then I was like, I'm not doing that. I yeah. want to be happy, so here's my cat. That's Colorful Marcus. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Marcus on acid. Sweet. Hurry, <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll sign this. Okay. Hold on. Do I write? Should I write title it? You can. Sure. It's your masterpiece. Did you write Marcus on acid? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're like, oh, of course. That's exactly what I, what I wrote. Said. <laughs> it's exactly what I wrote. Love it. This is Katie in the flesh. Ha, 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 ha.